In the last few weeks of 2019, the president signed into a new law called the SECURE Act. It has quite a few changes for retirees and pre-retirees, and we figured it would be worthwhile to bring Steve on, talk through what some of those changes might be, and you know what folks might need to be looking out for as you know they're encountering elements with the SECURE. Yeah, the SECURE Act starting January 1st, 2020. The SECURE means it's it's an acronym that stands for Setting Every Community Up for Retirement Enhancements. So a lot of changes to tax and a lot of changes to retirement. So five things which we really are going to highlight here is number one, um, if you were able to put money into a retirement account, a traditional IRA in the past, that got capped, meaning you can't uh, put any additional funds in after you reach 70 and a half. Unlike Roth IRAs or 401ks that didn't have that age limit, um, IRAs, traditional IRAs, are now treated the same. So as long as you have earnings or wages, uh, you or your spouse could put money into that account. Great. Um, so now that's getting money in. Now how about getting money out? Well, what's that look like? What are some of the changes there? Yeah, so any type of retirement account, there's what's called an RMD, Required Minimum Distributions. And once you reach the age of 70 and a half in the past, that's when you had to start taking a calculation out. And what this law put into place is now, instead of 70 and a half, it pushes it back to age 72. So a little, little change there, longer time to put money in, a little longer for it, for it to be deferred before you have to take it out. Very nice. And then, so beyond those two big aspects, well, what are some other things? Um, maybe less well-known, but might still be very important for, for folks to know. So another one is if you named a beneficiary and you pass away, the beneficiary had over their lifetime to extend or what's called stretch out uh, retirement accounts, stretch IRAs. That, that provision for non-spouses has been basically eliminated, meaning um, you can't stretch it out over your lifetime. Now, if you're, if you're a child and you inherited an IRA from your parents, you would have up through 10 years to take out the entire value of that account. You can't stretch it over your lifetime. Some other changes that changed with the IRAs is the qualified charitable distributions, meaning if you want to give to charities out of your IRA, you could. And you could do it anytime you start receiving RMDs or age 70 and a half. So now that RMDs have changed to 72, you would naturally think, oh, well, I have to wait till 72 to start these QCDs or qualified charitable distributions. That's not the fact. Actually, it stays 70 and a half and then also medical expenses. Those also stay at 7.5% of your AGI. So a couple things that changed, which we talked about initially, and a couple things that didn't. Very nice. Well, I, I think that's a really great summary. You know, there may be videos coming here along the lines uh, with even more detail. So be on the lookout for those. Uh, but until next time, if you have any questions or you'd like to go through any of your uh, retirement accounts in more deep, uh, you know, please let us know. Uh, we'd love to sit down and talk it through with you. Thanks.